Hi there, and welcome to today's webinar presented by the UBC SAW School of Businesses, Robert H. Lee Graduate School. My name is Kevin, and I'm a recruitment and admissions manager here in the Graduate School. And if you're watching this presentation, you're probably an international student interested in coming to Vancouver to study one of our programs. Today, I'll go over our programs that you might be interested in, and then I'll be joined by Emily from our university's international student development team to have a chat about what international students may want to keep in mind. We'll cover topics such as immigration documents, study permits, working in Canada afterwards, and more. Before that though, let's go over what it means coming to study at UBC. Studying at UBC means that you'll be studying at a top ranked institution. In fact, we're a top 40 ranked university in the world, according to the Times Higher Education World University Rankings. And the same ranking also placed us as the number one university in Canada for business and economics. Being a part of the UBC SAR School of Business community also means you'll be able to tap into an extensive global network, over 40,000 alumni located in 74 countries. Our programs are globally focused and globally minded with a rich and diverse demographic. And you, as an international student, can be a part of this global community at one of the world's top business schools. Studying at UBC Sauter in any of our programs means you receive a world-class education with a multitude of resources and services. Even though each of our three full-time programs differ in a number of ways, the full-time MBA, the Master of Management, and the Master of Business Analytics all have some commonalities. For one, we teach in a hands-on practical approach at the graduate school. With experiential learning, you'll be able to learn from professors from research and industry backgrounds, and with a focus on problem-based solving and case studies. Our, experience, our experiential learning methods also means you'll be able to collaborate in small groups, work on projects, and see an emphasis on teamwork. All of our full-time programs also carry with them a consulting experience, where you'll be able to apply what you learn to a real-life project or internship. And to help ease you into the Canadian job marketplace, we do offer one-on-one -on -one personalized career services. That being said, what are our programs and what makes them unique? We have our 16-month full-time MBA programs, and this is uh, for candidates with two plus years of work experience post-bachelors. Our program is especially well known for our global immersion experience, which is a two-week international consulting trip in one of four different countries. Plus, we do have exchange opportunities with over 30 different global exchange partners. Our full-time MBA offers three different specializations, one in finance, one in product and service management, and one in innovation and entrepreneurship. If perhaps you would like to specialize in more than one of these areas, we do have a customizable career track where you can actually combine courses from each of the different tracks and essentially make your own MBA. We do also have a nine month master of management program. Now this program is designed specifically for non-business students with less than two years of full-time work experience. So whether you're in the sciences or the arts, kinesiology or any non-business subject, you're available to apply to this program. In our master of management, you'd be able to consult for nonprofits and social enterprises as part of our community business project. And we also offer a dual degree option with the Yale School of Management. If you're coming from a quantitatively minded background, our Master of Business Analytics might be for you. This is a 12 month program. The first nine months of the program are courses in operations research and marketing fundamentals. And then the last three months of the program, you'll be spending your time with a guaranteed internship. This internship is known as our analytics consulting internship, and it will be with one of our industry partners or faculty research members. You'll get to learn from research and industry professionals from the Center for Operations Excellence and gain knowledge and skills for a growing field that's becoming very popular, especially here in Vancouver, a growing tech hub. Now, if you do have any questions for us, uh, please feel free to look at our respective websites, which will be placed in the video notes. If you do have questions that can't be answered by our website, message our admissions team here at the respective addresses. With that being said, I'd now like to introduce our guest, 
one of UBC's international student advisors, Emily. She'll cover topics that will be of great interest to our international students coming to UBC, and I hope you'll enjoy this presentation on tips and advice. So, take it away, Emily. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for having me. As Kevin mentioned, my name is Emily, and I'm an international student advisor here at UBC. Welcome. You need to do a few things before you can start at UBC, but don't worry. International Student Advising is here to help. This information is current as of February 25th, 2019, and is subject to change. Let us begin. To come to Canada to study, you need two types of immigration documents from the Canadian government. First, a visa or a travel document. You will need this to enter Canada at the border or airport. Depending on your citizenship, you will need either a temporary resident visa or an electronic travel authorization. The TRV or ETA do not give you any status inside Canada. They are necessary for you to come to Canada. Second, you will need a study permit if your program is six months or more. A study permit allows you to stay and study inside Canada. You must apply for a study permit with Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada, or IRCC, a government department. We strongly recommend that you apply for your study permit as soon as you get your letter of acceptance. You need a study permit before you can start classes, and processing can take several months. So how do you apply for a study permit? Be sure to visit our online pre-arrival course called IPREP for information on immigration documents, as well as important information on preparing for your arrival. We also have an online step-by-step -step tutorial which covers how to fill out the study permit application forms, what documents you need to provide, and other key steps. Please read through this information carefully and be sure to fill out everything completely to avoid disappointment. You can submit your study permit application online on the Canadian Immigration website. At a later date, you might need to provide biometrics or fingerprints and a photo in person. If your study permit application is approved, your TRV or ETA to travel to Canada will be issued automatically. This means that you do not need to apply for them separately as you will only submit one application, your study permit application. For those of you requiring a TRV, you will receive a request to send your passport to the visa office responsible for your application to have your TRV inserted as a sticker in your passport. If you need an ETA, it will be electronically linked to your passport and included in your approval for your study permit. When you arrive in Canada, you will need to present your approval letter for your study permit. This is referred to as a letter of introduction or port of entry letter. The border officer will issue your study permit on the spot. When that happens, don't just walk away. Look at your study permit and be sure the information is correct and that it includes the phrase may work or may accept employment. This will make things much easier for you once you arrive in Canada. You might be wondering about working while you study. The great news is you do not need to apply for a separate work permit and can work if you are a full-time student and have a valid study permit. There are many options to work, on campus, off campus, or later through the post-graduation work permit. Be sure to visit the International Student Guide for eligibility requirements. If you are in a degree program, then during regular academic sessions, you are eligible to work up to 20 hours a week off campus and unlimited hours on campus during the term. During scheduled breaks, you can work full time on and off campus. There is one exception. If you have work that is required as part of your program, you need to apply for a co-op work permit. This is usually done after arriving in Canada. We know that it might sound ridiculous to speak of a post-graduation work permit when you have not started your program yet, but just so that you're aware, you can apply for this work permit after completing your program without needing a job offer, 
and the work permit can vary in length from eight months to three years, depending on your program length. The International Student Guide provides in-depth information about application details. Health insurance is an extremely important consideration as an international student. In Canada, medical costs can be very high, but if you have health insurance, someone else pays the bills. There are two types of medical insurance, basic and extended. As a resident of British Columbia, you are required to enroll in BC's public health insurance called the Medical Services Plan, or MSP. MSP covers basic services such as hospital visits, doctor's visits, and any diagnostic tests. You can enroll into MSP as soon as you arrive in BC. However, there is a three month waiting period. But not to worry, UBC has you covered as an international student. You'll be automatically enrolled in a temporary private medical insurance called IMED. Generally, coverage begins the month before your program starts and you can apply for a date change if you arrive in Canada later. You are also eligible for the Alma Mater Society or Graduate Student Society Health and Dental Plan. The AMS GSS Health and Dental Plan provides extended health insurance to cover services MSP does not, such as dental or eye care. When you register for your courses, you will automatically be enrolled in IMED and the AMS GSS Plan. Besides immigration and health insurance, you may be wondering about other things to take care of to get settled in Canada. For information on banking in Canada, transportation, including the unlimited student transit pass called the UPASS, adjusting to life in Canada, and much more, visit your go-to resource, UBC's International Student Guide. For housing, on-campus residence spaces are limited, so apply as soon as possible through student housing and hospitality services. They also provide helpful resources and tips to help find accommodation off campus. Also, be sure to register for Jumpstart Orientation if you are an undergraduate student or international graduate student orientation if you are a graduate student to get started well. Be sure to complete our online pre-arrival course called iPrep and visit our International Student Guide, which has quick and accessible information on life as an international student at UBC. International Student Advising is here to help you, whether it's a question about your study permit application or how to adapt to life in Canada. You can reach us by phone, email, or in person at our centrally located office in the Life Building. We wish you all the best as you prepare to come to Canada and look forward to seeing you at UBC.